What's new in the official build of Awaken OS version 2.3 based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to see what is new in the latest build of official Awaken OS version being 2.3 based on Android 12 running on the Poco F1. The kernel they are using is Silver Core. Security patch, of course, is from January 2022. And SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. Do note, I am running the Google Apps build on my Poco F1 and Select and Screenshot are working without any issues in the Pixel launcher. Now the first change you will notice is if you go into settings and then you can go into security make sure you have a screen lock setup go into the settings here and they have added a bunch of different toggles so for starters you have a toggle to scramble the pin layout then you also have quick unlock where and as soon as you enter the correct pin the device is going to be unlocked then you also have toggles for secure quick setting tiles require unlocking so you cannot access your quick setting tiles if you have set up pin or password similarly if you want to hide your quick settings in the secure lock screen you can do that as well and if you want to disable the power menu on the lock screen you can do that as well so here it is we are on the lock screen pressing and holding the power button nothing happens swipe down I cannot access my quick settings panel as well the pin layout here is of course scrambled and let me enter the pin which I am using right now which of course is not my actual pin but as you you can see as soon as I entered the correct pin the device unlocked next up if you go into settings and then we can go back into the section of display here and go into lock screen and you will notice a bunch of new changes over here as well so yes you do have lock screen charging info works absolutely fine those of you who do not like the big clock you have a toggle to disable that and as you can see we do have the small clock on our lock screen right now other than that you also have always on display now this is not a new feature this has been there for quite some time then you also have something called music visualizer and media art so any music which you're playing the media art is going to show on the lock screen if you have this toggle enabled and they have also added music visualizer you can of course customize it and it does look pretty cool then while we are still in the display settings we can scroll down go into display customizations herein they have added some more toggles so you have customization for your brightness slider for starters you can enable or disable the brightness slider in your quick settings then if you tap on brightness slider you can choose where you want it do you want it at the bottom of your quick settings or do you want it at the top then you also have a toggle or a button to enable or disable your auto brightness icon along with the slider so there it is i disabled the toggle and now the auto brightness icon has disappeared then we can go back into the display customizations and here and you will notice that they have also added network speed now the network speed does have some customizations like status bar quick settings header and the style which they are using is from oxygen os then they have also added customization for ambient edge lighting do you want to see it on your always on display or not do you want to hide the always on display content and then you can also choose your accent colors the duration of your edge lighting so all those customizations have been added with awaken os version 2.3 then they have also added heads up customization so if you go into settings notification here and scroll down you of course have a toggle for saner heads up but if you go into the heads up section you do have a master toggle to enable or disable your heads up configure the timeout the snooze timer and then you can also configure what all apps have access to heads up notification and what all apps do not have access to heads up notifications then if you go into the gesture settings so we can go into settings system gestures here in for starters if you scroll down you do have a new toggle to reorient or swap the volume buttons when the screen is rotated other than that you also have toggles for volume wake advanced restart double tap to sleep anywhere and if you go into system navigation go into the gesture navigation options you now have a toggle to enable or disable the haptic feedback with the back gesture 
Next thing we can check for is safety net. So we are going to use an application called yet another safety net checker. And as you can see, safety net passes out of the box. We can also go to the Google Play Store. And here, and if I go into the settings and about phone, you will notice that Play Protect certification says device is certified. This means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. Then with respect to your Google Photos, we do have a surprise for you and the surprise is this. Backing up from this pixel is free and unlimited. Yes, they have added unlimited photograph backup on Google Photos. Also, if I try to edit a picture of my favorite football star, wait for this loading bar to finish, go into tools, portrait light, bam, here it is. Portrait light feature is available, works without any issues, of course, do note portrait light only works on human objects not going to work on my chicken friend over here unfortunately i do not see the option for magic eraser when i try to edit it or go into the tools section now with respect to the google assistant everything works absolutely fine the assistant works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well then we can have a look at the app opening animations to see if you have any lags or any jitters in the app opening animations no such issues recents pretty smooth as well we can also try to switch between a few applications and as you can see no jitters no lags everything is absolutely fine let us try to access our google feed again no jitters no lags in the google feed as well once the content has loaded everything is pretty smooth next up with respect to your pixel 6 exclusive features so on this rom you do have your live translate working in youtube without any issues along with picture in picture of course for picture in picture you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you are not having youtube premium then the next thing we can check for is recorder application and when i go ahead and try to record over here and go into transcript there it is you can see that transcript in the recorder application one of the pretty nifty features of pixel 6 is working like a boss on this specific build then with respect to your typing of messages with your voice yes you do have the pixel 6 exclusive message typing as well again working like a boss without any issues along with your google interpreter mode wherein you can you know communicate with someone who doesn't speak your language they talk in their language you talk in your own language that feature of google assistant also works without any issues so all in all what can i say awaken os has risen to the occasion and we do have a pretty dope rom which is based on aosp for the poco f1 which has pretty nifty features and also has pixel 6 exclusive features so yes a must try rom for those of you who want to have some android 12 butter smooth goodies on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you